It is surprising news given the scope and scale of the massive Marshall Fire. No damage to any school in the burn zone, but the district is in the process of air scrubbing buildings impacted by smoke. And once the snow melts, they can get a better sense if there's any damage on school ground. Yeah, we definitely have some debris on our on our campuses. You know, we saw on Superior Elementary's uh, video cameras or security cameras that you know the flames were, you know, legitimately pretty close to the building. Um, and so I wondered if, if, you know, we had any impact to our playgrounds or our actual grounds. Uh, but it, do it doesn't appear, you know, just looking at the situation that we do. But again, we'll, we'll know after this blanket of snow is gone. Power has been restored to all district schools. Natural gas should be turned on by Tuesday. Now the district is focused on taking care of the potentially hundreds of students left homeless by the fire. They have a district employee solely focused on helping students in situations like this. It's really overwhelming for a parent, as you might imagine, going through all this. This person can be sort of the conduit to say, okay, we hear what your needs are. Let me see if I can find somebody to help you with that specifically so that they're not having to run around and do it all themselves. The return to school district officials and child psychologists know is crucial right now. The classroom will provide structure and normalcy for kids who need it now more than ever. I think for the rest of the school year, it's something to be really mindful of. It's also something to talk about. We may have maybe dozens or hundreds even of kids dealing with eventually PTSD. So right now, this is acute stress. Uh, this just happened. Very likely people are in denial and shock.